now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a lot more sunshine today, and it looks like we are going to be seeing some changes for Memorial Day, but we're not looking at a washout. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Actually, I want to say a quick hello to the uh, kindergartners at the Bishop McVinney School in Providence. I visited with them uh, last week with the Weathermobile. Good bunch of kids there and had a great time. It was, in, it was raining out at the time, though, and I'm sure they're enjoying the sunshine today. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing no precipitation at the moment. Temperature at Coventry at 78, 74 Providence. Smithfield 75, Foster Gloucester at 78, upper 60s though along the south coast there in Newport. You see the pretty blue skies that we have here in southern New England. 74 degrees, some northeasterly and northerly winds brought in some less humid air overnight last night and dropped the dew point down to the 50s, 56, pretty comfortable air in place right now. But the winds are moving back into the south, south southeast at about 10 miles an hour right now. Coast Guard House in Narragansett, temperature of 69 after topping out at 74. They have a west-southwest wind at 6 miles an hour. The satellite radar picture showing fairly quiet conditions, just some occasional clouds around earlier in the day. And you see this big area of rain. Uh, thunderstorms out across Pennsylvania riding along a front. We're monitoring this very closely. Some of the computer models that we look at are indicating that some of those thunderstorms could impact our weather later on in the nighttime. Tonight, of course, this is Beryl. We're seeing some of the steadier rains and heavier rains about to work its way inland near Jacksonville, Florida. Beryl expected to pass well on off to our south and east over the uh, upcoming week. But for now, it's a pretty good storm with winds of 63 miles an hour with some higher gusts. So here's what we're looking at for tonight. Uh, some showers and thunderstorms are possible, but mainly after midnight. So any firework displays tonight more than likely will be just fine. It might be a little on the cool side. Definitely going to want to bring along the jacket. And then for tomorrow, we're going to be seeing this front still kind of hanging around southern New England, and it will become a uh, what we call a focusing mechanism for a couple of showers and thunderstorms to develop through the day, but not a washout. It'll be uh, you know kind of scattered. You know, splash and dash situation. And on Tuesday, that front lifts northward. It's going to be warm and humid here in southern New England. Maybe a spot thunderstorm. More generous showers and thunderstorms will arrive Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. Your future cast for tonight. Temperatures falling through the 60s by around midnight. Chance of some showers and thunderstorms, especially in southern areas. Mainly cloudy tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be climbing slowly into the low 70s. Best chance for showers and thunderstorms would be before 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then for the afternoon hours, we're looking at temperatures up around 79 degrees or so with mainly cloudy skies. A little bit more in the way of sunshine the further south you go with a chance of a, a spot shower or thunderstorm at the south coast. Better chance for a shower or thunderstorm up in northern Rhode Island where temperatures will be topping out in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Going to be more humid tomorrow everywhere, including Fall River and New Bedford where temperatures will be around 78 degrees. Looking at a shower or thunderstorm late Tuesday into Wednesday, drier for Thursday into Friday, but more more rain possible Friday night into the daytime on uh, next Saturday. So I know it looks like we're going to have a wet Memorial Day according to the seven day, but it's going to be, you know, hit, hit or miss. Hit Not or everyone's miss. going to see one. All right. Thanks, TJ. And coming up on I want to